What? You two know each other? You better believe it. I know he's my enemy, and I'd like to put him on ice. You wouldn't stand a chance against me, you thieving varmint. Bring it on! You got it, city boy. No, no don't. don't! Go! Carmen, Carmen. Beauty and the Boast, part one. The first time I came here, I went home empty-handed. But I have to try again. If there's a McCartamal hiding in that freezer, I've got to tame him. We can find the McCartamal if we can get inside, Jason. But that's not going to be easy with all these people around. Not only that, the back door's guarded by crows. Man, I hate crows. I hope you have a plan for this one, Jason. Hmm? I do. I'll distract the guard while the three of you guys sneak inside. And... Wingtalk gets a mirror. This'll distract the crows. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Great. So you're extra shiny now, Wingtalk. But how's that supposed to help us get inside? Crows like shiny objects, so they'll all follow me. That's right. As soon as the coast is clear, you guys go in and start to search. You, you got, got it. it. Let's do this! Man, I sure hope this works. Hello, sir. Huh? You again? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I told you to stay out of here, kid. This building's a restricted area. I know that, sir, but I thought you ought to know a rat just ran into that freezer. What? A rat? Are you sure? Ah, darn it. If the boss finds out, I'll be back on night shift. Mm -hmm. The coast is clear. Let's go. Oh, shiny, shiny. You like shiny? Try to keep up. Are rats bad? Are you kidding? Of course they're bad, especially in a meat freezer. Think of the damage they can do. Nobody told me freezers are freezing inside. Turn your heater on, Tador. Let's make this quick. Hey, I know. I'll give you a description of the rat. That should help. I don't need a description. I just need you to get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get out of here. But I saw right where it went. Oh, it's as cold as a polar bear picnic in here. That McCartable must be crazy. He's probably an ice cube on wheels by now. Just keep on looking and keep on moving. Okay, if I was a McCartable, where would I hide? You are a McCartable, Tador, but I'd sure hide someplace warmer. Hey, wait a sec. Did I just see... I did! I found it! I found the McCartable, you guys! It's right over here! He's not moving, though. I think he must have frozen up solid. How are we gonna get him out of here, then? If he can't move on his own, we have to carry him. This guy needs some unleaded gas. He weighs a ton! Listen, kid. Oh, no. The guard's gonna see us. Everybody, scatter! Oh, no way. What? What is it? I think I saw the rat again. What? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. It's right up there. Huh? Where? Uh, uh, above? Come on, you guys. Uh, up there? Quick. Where is it? Hey, I know what to do! Huh? Uh, yeah! All right, are you sure, kid? Point to where you saw this rat. Uh, it's over there. It's moving. Huh? D up here? Where? That's our chance. Here. Push! <laughs> Jason, help! Bogies on my tail! Help, Jason! Catch me! <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. First rats, now crows. What's next, a swarm of bees? I know, right? Anyway, I'm gonna get going. Um, good luck with the rat. Well, guys, we managed to get home with a new McCartamal, but <sighs> I'm exhausted. Come on, pal, snap out of it. What's it gonna take to wake him up? I'm open to ideas, guys. What do we do? Maybe taming him will wake him up. I like that idea. It's worth a try. McCartamal taming on! All right, let's see who we've got. Huh, his name is Mopton, but he still isn't moving. He was frozen for a long time. Well, then maybe we ought to warm him up a little. Think it'll help him? Hope so. If nothing else, at least it got the bugs off his windshield. Maybe we should just let him soak! It's worth a try, but if boiling water didn't warm him up, it might be junkyard time. 
We've got to give him more time. I'm sure he'll come around. Yeah, you're right. Oh, what the heck? What's going on here? Is somebody trying to cook me? Hot, hot, hot! Ah! Oh, God, God. He's alive again. Woohoo! All right, we did it! Ugh, you cupcakes got some serious explaining to do. Who are you, and what's the big idea? You almost melted my paint off! How dare you! You trying to cook me like a pot roast or something? Sorry, but we didn't know how else to bring you around. Ugh, you ever heard of an alarm clock? We thought you might be hibernating. Hibernate what? Well, if you aren't hibernating, then why was it so hard to wake you up? So, who are you, anyway? The name's Martin, Half Pint. Take it easy, Martin. Oh, you the big boss man? Look sharp, Shuma. The scanner says we're close. Hmm, but I don't see anything. Huh? Now it's on the move and headed this way. Hmm. There it is. Found you. I reckon it's more me finding you. Same thing. Say, you ever come across a little filly named Mirinay? She's with a friend of mine, actually. Well, I'll be. In that case, why don't you get to taming me, son? My thoughts exactly. Taming on. Yeah! You're Stronghorn, huh? Pleased to make your acquaintance, young feller. Now, let's saddle up. I reckon I got me some things to say to Mirinay. What's that about? You got some beef with Mirinay you want to clue us in on? He may not be firing on all cylinders. Good work today, guys. I know, right? Let's take a look at these two new McCartimals you tamed. I had to thaw this poor guy out. Everybody, meet the great Mothtick. That's cool, and I found this one. Meet Stronghorn. Oh, you gotta be kidding. What in tarnation? Who let you in here? Wait, you guys know each other? You better believe it. I know him as my enemy. Ugh, and seeing him again really frosts my fenders. Well, I'd be happy to warm you up, you old polecat. I'll burn your hide and melt your tires right off you. You know what? I think I might know how to get to the bottom of this. Come out here, Mirane. What's going on, Ryan? <gasps> Mirinay! Look who's here. Stronghorn and Mofton. Welcome, boys. You are a sap for sore eyes, darling. You look lovely as ever, Mirinay. I the missed last you I so found much. You. What? Stronghorn and I were friends once, but then the Great War started on our planet. And well... We ended up on opposite sides tussling with each other. There's only a few distractions for McCardimals during the war. Mirane was one of them. I do declare, I ain't never seen a little filly so strong and so beautiful. I was head over spurs. Martin and I both wanted to impress her and win her over to our side. I remember watching her take off and fly. She used to soar high over the battlefield, and I thought if I could just show her how strong I was, that she would join up with me. And the whole time I was figuring the same thing. I kept on hollering and acting as tough as month-old beef jerky, trying to get Marinay to take a shine to me. We both realized we had to get rid of the other if we wanted to win. So we would battle again and again, trying to impress the beautiful Mirinay. We've been enemies ever since. When the war finally ended, and all the McCardimals ended up scattered everywhere here on Earth, I lost Mirinay's trail, but I never stopped looking for her. As for me, I got chased by a bunch of lousy crows into that freezer where you found me. I had to hide out in there so long I froze solid. But now all of that's in the past, and you and I can finally be together, you don't want She's meant to be with me. You never had a chance with her. What do you know about horses, Greenhorn? She's mine. In your dream. Hey, stop it. We're all on the same team. Ah, boys, it. please stop. He started it. I did not. Oh! Oh, my You're gonna pay for this! In your dreams! Wait, no! Lay off, Stronghorn! That's an order! 
Not until I corral this horse thief and make him say, oh, you talk too much. I'm gonna wrap your radiator around your tailpipe. This is bad. Maybe you can get them to stop fighting if you talk to them. I'll try. But I don't know if they'll listen. Hey, you two! Yes, darling? Hey, that worked! Go on, Miranay. Stronghorn and Mothton, you guys are both fantastic McCardimals. I like both of you just the same. Impossible! Maybe they just need some healthy competition. Yeah, now you're thinking. thinking. All right, then. I'm going to send you both on a treasure hunt for something I consider valuable. Valuable? Yeah, like what? That's for the two of you to decide. I'll be back in two no shades of something you amazing. Can count I promise on me, you, sweet pea. And boys, you have 24 hours to be back here. You're toast, amigo. I know you are. 